Have you ever wondered how to power your project using a built-in rechargeable battery? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to power your projects using a lithium-ion battery and this, a TP4056 lithium battery charger. Stick around. Hello everyone, Ruben here. Welcome to my new series on learning by making. I will be posting videos on DIY electronics ranging from using pre-made module boards such as the charger board we're going to talk about in this video to building your own custom electronic toys for your kids like this dino radar that I built for my son or this little monster scanner that I also built for my son. I have a ton of great content planned for this channel so please consider subscribing. Now let's talk about the TP4056 charger board. The TP4056 charger board is very useful for charging single cell lithium batteries. It's got a ton of functionality packed into a tiny little package. You can put this board in pretty much any of your projects. It's so small. It's very affordable. You can find these boards on eBay for about a dollar with free shipping. There are different versions of this board available. Uh, the one that I have here has a additional built-in protection circuit so it'll protect your battery from over discharge over current this is an older version uh, that one does not have the battery protection circuit and it does not have a micro USB it uses a mini USB instead the charging current is set to 1 amp that's perfect if you're using an 18650 battery that's a little too high if you want to use a smaller lithium polymer battery with a lower capacity the good thing about these boards is that you can change the charging current by swapping out this resistor right here. I'll put a link to the datasheet below so you can see what resistor you need to use for your particular battery. Now I'm going to zoom in to talk about some of the features of the board. It's very easy to power this board. Attach a micro USB cable here or connect an external power source to these two pads here. You can connect the battery by soldering two wires to the B plus B negative pads over here. And the output can be soldered on these pads on the edges here. It has two LEDs, a blue LED and a red LED. The blue LED lights up when the battery is fully charged. The red LED lights up when the battery is charging. And as I mentioned before, you can change the charging current by replacing this little resistor right here. So what kind of projects can you build with this charger board? Pretty much anything. Here's an example of a project that I used the TP4056 charger board in. It's a musical Death Star. It plays the Imperial March tune whenever you get a magnet near it. So this is using the older style TP4056 charger board. It has a lithium polymer battery inside. And if you look in the back, there's a micro USB connection where you could plug in a USB cable to recharge the battery. So now let's throw something together to show you how to use the TP4056 charger board and an 18650 battery. Okay, so here's an example for how to use the TP4056 charger board. I'm using an 18650 lithium battery. It's connected to the battery plus and negative pads. And I attach the output to this boost converter. So what this boost converter is gonna do is it's gonna boost up the 3.7 volts of the 18650 to five volts. So now I have something that can power an Arduino. So let me show you what happens when I connect the USB to the TP4056 charger. You can see the red LED turned on, so that's indicating that the 18650 is now getting charged. Now to show you that this works, I'm going to power this small little breadboard Arduino that I built a while ago. Um, it's very simple, the red LED is going to blink. So what I'll do is I'll power it from USB first to show you that it actually works.
There you go, you can see the red LED blinking. Okay, and now I'm gonna power it from the TP4056 charger board over here that we have. It's a mess, so let me disconnect it. So it's not connected to USB. And let me attach the wires. Oops. There you go. Now you have a way to power an Arduino project or any project using a rechargeable battery with a built-in charger. I hope this gives you some ideas for how to power your projects using a rechargeable battery and a TP4056 charger board. I'll post a link to my blog which will have more details for how to build one of these in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.